most of the time I'm required as Coach K, best in Kenya. Uh, apart from uh, football coaching, I also do a lot to do with uh, teaching people about wow. faith and especially young people. And striving to maximize the influence and the power of sports among young people and men, just to pass the message as pertains the gospel. Uh, this uh, is my third, my second time to be around. I remember being around in April, and then uh, we've come back in uh, July. Uh, in April, I'll say that uh, when we came, there wasn't uh, much good reception among the people. But this time around, it was quite different. And I'll be able to attribute this to the aspect that uh, this time around, I was so intentional to reach out to more young people and to meet more men who can be able to sustain the program around. While coming, I had uh, prayed that God would proceed ahead of us, prepare the hearts of men, prepare men who can be able to carry out the work, indeed even in our absence. And when we arrived, uh, as we proceeded to Tabora, on that morning it was quite evident that sport is a big issue in uh, Tanzania. There was a match beating the two best clubs in the country. And since morning and throughout the day, it was just the talk of the town. And to me, it was quite evident that sports is not only a form of entertainment, but uh, it is also worshipped around, and it is also a language that is quite understood by many of the people, including even women. So I chose to leverage on that. So when we arrived in Tabora, I know I had requested for balls. And uh, when we went to Tabora, when we arrived, it also, we also noted the same thing. The march was on. The town was quite more of a ghost. People were, had converged in different spots just to be able to watch that much. So it was quite clear to me that uh, the environment was very conducive. Uh, we were privileged uh, by the grace of God to put residents in a lodging and I also noted that uh, the owner of the lodging is a person of peace and at the same time an opinion leader with a lot of influence around. So I chose to engage him just to gather more information about the history of this country, the history of sports. And it was quite evident that he has also participated in formation of teams but uh, one of the most evident things is that uh, many a times team, teams are initiated or established, but they die along the way. So we talked a lot about sports. And uh, we were also privileged to find boys who just on a football pitch. And uh, as we were going for our mission in Chagana, and we chose also to engage them. So as part of engaging them, we promised to come back the following morning, uh, the following evening, and had our first training session. And in this training session, I just wanted to help them understand that there is a relationship between sports and uh, matters to do with the gospel. And uh, I shared to them, I shared with them how God created the world, how he commanded man to do different things, and even how his disobedience led to 
the aspect of him being banished from the land. And I was relating that to an aspect whereby when we fail to play according to the rules, we are also suspended or punished for that. And it was quite evident that they could be able to get and grasp the message. The following morning, we spoke about uh, the aspect of uh, being able to spread the gospel to different parts of the world. And the question was, how do we do this? And uh, I was sharing with them about the aspect of us being able to speak about Christ and to speak about what God is doing in our lives. And again, I firmly believe that the message was put across. Get the pass. 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 Get the p